Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video. Today we have reached finally eight months or yeah nine months, when did it come out? December, nine months after the release of 5.0. We finally reached tier two. Look at this, we've reached uh, tier two and I think we've got eight um, command stash things, command tier, command crate, there you go, command crate tier two things to open up. Now I've been playing around a bit with the sort healer, been doing a few master mode flashpoints and one of the things I've noticed, what happened to sprint? Have they removed sprint from the game? Because why is she walking like that? I looked for other people and nobody else has sprint and I looked in here and I couldn't find sprint. Has sprint been removed? I don't know. Vehicles, there's nothing. Only got a couple of mounts on this character. What, did they get rid of Sprint? Because it looks as though... I never noticed the walk animation seems a bit different as well. I don't know. Maybe they just made it a passive instead of on the bar. As usual, but have they gotten rid of Sprint? So we're going to open a few tier 2 command crate packs. I did managed to do a few master mode flashpoints they say you're gonna need or at least they're experimenting with needing uh, 242 gear um, I think that's bullshit to be honest with you there's no way you need 242 gear I've never struggled even with the sort healer which is the worst healer in PvE now uh, haven't struggled did blood ton HM or blood ton master mode whatever the hell they're calling it these days and didn't have any problems with it. I had no problems. I'll show you the footage from that. We'll do a video on it and uh, we'll show you because I recorded a uh, blood hunt. Uh, did that. Nobody died. Nobody. No wipes. It's perfect. Spoiler alert. Uh, so there you go. Blood hunt was fairly, fairly easy. And blood hunt, although I mean, I think it's been nerfed quite a bit. I don't know why that belt's different on her there. Got distracted there, so gear-wise, we have... I got the 6-piece, really. I did get a 2-3-6-piece, uh, although I put the uh, modern enhancement in the main hand. So, um, I mean, I'm sitting 230 gear. I did manage to get the 6-piece. I bought the belt with, from the vendor um, to get the 6-piece. I had 5 out of 6. So, but I mean, we we're sort of 230, 230, 236 there. But yeah, most of our gear is augmented uh, 230. We've got these are 234, the relics that we've managed to pick up. That one is awful, really. Uh, I've no fucking keybind for that relic. <laughs> That's the sad thing. I've no keybind for it as a healer. Because like, I need everything else. And, like, I'm trying to think, where should I put it? I need Crushing Darkness. I need Consuming Darkness. Obviously, I need all of these. Oh, there are all your heals. Uh, I need four speed. I kind of want phase walk. It's good for getting out of things quickly. Um, revivication, obviously necessary, although it kind of sucks these days. Roaming mend is definitely necessary. Want lightning strike, want to do damage. Force storm, want to do that. Uh, force lightning, definitely want that. Recklessness, no doubt we want that. We want our whirlwind, our CC. We want our affliction because it comes in handy. Mark of power, should really get rid of that now. Why can't these just be passives that stay? I don't I don't get it. Uh, seed we kind of need. Of course, our unbreakable will, our break of stun we need. We need shock. We need static barrier, although it is kind of useless right these days. It really sucks these days. Uh, extraction or extrication. It is extrication. Yep. Uh, we need that. Pull people out of stuff. Unnatural preservation. Want that. Overload, you could argue, is kind of pointless, really, but is useful situationally in PvE. Uh, PvP is useful with the electric bindings. We definitely want our force barrier. We want our electrocute, which is our little four-second stun. Useful for dealing with adds that attack us. Cloud mind, which is a threat drop and a defensive cooldown. Uh, jolts or interrupt, expunge is our cleanse, and polarity shift is our big cooldown that gives us 20% alacrity. So we're gonna want them, we kinda need everything, and over here I've got my unlimited power, which is a raid buff, and we've got a reanimation, which is a combat res, and a rocket boost, which, you know, gives us mount speed uh, in areas where we can't mount. So everything else I need, we need to make another key binding for it. 
I mean, that is 24 there. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 key bindings. And these three aren't key bound. 33 abilities. I think it's time we did some trimming at Bioware. But anyway, let's get on with it. I'm going to respect the DPS because I already have the six piece set bonus. And we'll pick a DPS spec. We'll go with Madness. I'll hit cancel instead of commit. Uh, I pick a DPS spec. I don't really care. Uh, close that off. I don't really give a damn about that. So we'll go open some packs. B, there it is. Don't press B. Let's go open some tier 2 pack. How many have we got actually to open? We have 5, 6, 7, 8 packs to open. 8 packs today to open. What do we get out of tier 2? Disappointment, no doubt. We have... Ooh. Oh, we already have that as well as a set piece. Although it is an upgrade though. I mean, 2, 3, two, three 4 uh, has the set bonus in it. So we'll take that. It's a direct upgrade. Uh, we'll take the command tokens. Don't really give a damn about any of them. Disintegrate them. So that was good. There you go. We got a uh, we got a tier set piece out of it. I did get a gold item out of one of them. So I got two three six, which was the legendary version of it. So there you go. Not bad. Uh, what do we want here? Uh, two three two. Um, we don't want that. Mm, I might have a fact. Uh, yeah, we'll take it actually. We'll take it, because it may be useful for lightning spec. It's better than 230, anyway. Um, so it might be useful for lightning. Uh, get rid of them. Don't care about them. Check this bad boy out. We've got... Um, I don't want any of them. We'll, uh, disintegrate. Those two we came to command rank. We got a refund on that, at least. Uh, I want them. I want them. There you go. We got, well, we're got. we opening nine now. So there you go. Um, two, three, four. I suppose we'll take it. It's an upgrade. Small upgrade. Um, I guess. Take the nah, screw it. Disintegrate them. Disintegrate them. We got tons of uh, companion gifts. What else did we get? Two, three, two, three, two. Don't really want it. Um. Command token, I want them, because we can buy, we can buy tier set 230 pieces, so green things are kind of pointless. Really, when you can buy the tier set stuff. What did we get out of the, uh, we got a tech shield, which requires artifice. 2-3, uh, was it 2-3? Three... 2 three, four, there it is, shield rating 2-3-4. Uh, the device, uh, I already have a 236, uh, do we want crit rating? Uh, 230 alacric, nah, we'll stick with that, we'll stick with, uh, what we got. Where are we? Command stash, there we are. Uh, we'll stick with what we got, so we'll take these three items. Take that, because, um, my assassin has artifice, and I'll send them over to her, we'll disintegrate them. I don't see it as worth it. Two item levels, change of stats. We've got the... No, nah, it's just the empty lightsaber. Another 234 device. Uh, 49 mastery is the only real difference. Nah. Because um, the... Uh, I've got a 236 one for the DPS. So I just want that one. I just want the command tokens. I don't know why it just doesn't automatically give you the command tokens. Instead of having the option to disintegrate. There we go. We've got a uh, 234 Quick Savant. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Um, it's an upgrade. Um, Adept Shotgun. We've already got the shotgun. The 234 Shotgun. Uh, so we'll take those three. That's not bad. I've had not bad luck, actually, out of here. Um, I don't want them. Already got the shotgun in a previous pack, so... I don't really want it. And this contains nothing useful as well. 232, we rejected the 234 one, so um, we'll claim that. I want all eight of them. What is that? Um, Imperial forward. Yeah, we already got max rep with them. So there you go. We did manage to get a couple of useful items there. Um, 232, 234. We got an alacrity and a crit thing. 
that were maybe upgrades. We got the chest, which was the tier set, which we didn't need for the DPS because we already had. So that was kind of disappointing, but it is a sort of direct upgrade. I mean, ignore the uh, minus on the endurance and the crit because they've got augments in them. So, you know, minor upgrade from 230 to 234. That's uh, not so bad. We'll have that. Um, 234, we only have 230, although does it have less power in it? 18, yeah, it does have less power, so we're not going to take the mod. Um, we'll probably put the mod somewhere else where we don't have the purple mod, I guess. It's not much of an upgrade, is it, actually? It's less power. 49 less power, so... Uh, we don't care about armor, and we don't really care. If 49 mastery, 49 power, we'd rather have the 49 power. Um, the crit rating is given to us by the augment, so that's kind of irrelevant, and so is the endurance. It would have been an endurance upgrade. Uh, we do have the uh, Bastion's tech shield, that's disappointing. There's a tech shield. Stick that into Legacy if it ever opens. There it is. Slap that in there. So I already have the uh, shotgun, which requires, what does that require? Arms tech. We already got 600 arms tech. Uh, we've got the uh, bulwark device as well, which is the earpiece, which requires cyber tech. So give them to your alts, really. Uh, we'll sort through that. The chest is just a direct upgrade, 230 to 234, so I guess we'll take it. Um, whether we'll be able to put anything in, I think we've all got purple. Everything's all purps. We've got uh, 230 enhancement. We could put that 230 enhancement in there, 234 enhancement. I guess we could put in the offhand there, so that's pretty decent, um, the rest are all, yeah, everything's perps that we got, so there we go, that was a little uh, tier 2 pack opening slash update, Cause Stale Cookie Warriors, that's an interesting guild name, I quite like that, Stale Cookie Warriors, because Stale Cookies are a weapon, they become hard when they're stale, so there you go, but there you go anyway, that is all for this video, so thank you for joining me. And we'll see you again soon. We'll do some more videos. We'll do that video on, um, what was it called? Blood Hunt HM. Why not just put a thermal detonator in a muffin instead? <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. That guy, I like that guy. Props to that guy there. Put a thermal detonator in a muffin. It would ruin the muffin, mind you. It's a waste of a good muffin. But anyway, that is all for this video, so thank you for joining me, and we'll see you again soon, and goodbye. Remember, don't put thermal detonators in muffins, they'll ruin their muffins.